This is a plate of uh, Omega Fire that we have uh, just recently made. Finally come to a formula that we're pleased with. And you can tell from uh, the log here of how many formulas we've gone through uh, to try to arrive at where we're at. And this is just pages and pages and pages <clears throat> getting down to the one that we like. And this has uh, been years, not months, years mm -hmm. of uh, trying to find the right balance of ceramics with the resin system that would hold it on there and make it work. So how we do this, this is built a metal uh, system here that's built that's kind of similar to how the uh, fire testing is done at UL and other places, except they've got it inside of a box and there's, there's heat on all four sides and that sort of thing on columns. But as it is, we can get an, a, a good idea on this right here by putting the plate in here and uh, your your burner is right over there. It's gonna be hitting the, it's gonna be hitting the face of the plate. And, uh, and it's gonna be uh, impinging or hitting the, uh, uh, and I'm gonna put this around here to keep the heat from coming out around the edges of the plate like they do in the fire lab and uh, to get this set up and that way all we're getting is the heat that's coming um, through the through the coating and through the plate now this plate is not a thick plate so um, as in regular fire testing you will have a six millimeter up to about a 13 millimeter um, thick metal or steel plate and uh, that you're uh, testing on. Well, to really kind of get an understanding of this thing, we just use a very thin plate. As you can see, the thickness of the plate that we've got this on is this thick right here. So <clears throat> heat's going to come through that very quickly, but it'll let us know uh, how well uh, we're, we're doing with a thin plate so that we can go up and use a, a uh, thicker plate later. So I'm gonna get this secured in here. Then this is a, a probe and uh, we will clear it out. Make sure it's zero, okay. Then this probe is going to be put right back on the back side of the plate right here. Now these, this plate's been in a cool lab overnight, but it's uh, showing 71. Now this is 71 F. And so we're going to start it. Uh, then over here, This is butane, and we're gonna start this right here. And then we come around and <clears throat> take a look at how the flame is getting directly on the surface of the top. So it's got, it's got the anywhere from 1800 to 2000 degree Fahrenheit directly on the surface of the coating so that we can see how much of it's gonna to come to this uh, millimeter to the probe and the force. So we started here and we will start at about 71 like 71 right here and then we test every five minutes up to about 20 degree uh, 20 minutes and it's every 10 minutes past that. And <clears throat> so just to show so that everybody will know that this is a hot torch. We will put another probe into this, and you see where this probe is now. If I grab it right here, it starts to go up. 
Okay. But I'm going to put this probe into the flame just so you can see that it's. And then here's your probe. Step over here so you can see the flame. And where's that on the. Where's what's that show up there? 2000? Okay. So it's a 2000 degree flame. And uh, that's what I wanted to show that uh, <laughs> the flame is real. <laughs> real so you have about uh, 2000 degrees on the flame. And so far in three minutes, it's gone up about uh, two degrees. going to run this like I would like to say <clears throat> we've run it uh, this is start five minutes 10 minutes 15 20 then we go to 10 minute in for intervals so it's 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 60 minutes and we I've got this only going right here 150 but we go up <clears throat> uh, we've gone up to 255 minutes which is um, four hours a little over four hours and our backside temperature was 246 F on 2100 degree F on the flame so what we're trying to do is make sure that this batch is our final batch it's going to produce, produce the same kind of result so that's uh, that's the whole goal here and then, then we'll uh, we'll check on this and see. Then step right over here, and we're when we get this finished. <clears throat> these are the uh, what we call stubs, and this is for UL testing. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have four stubs here that we're going to put in the put in a fire test. And it's called the UL 1709. And that test is in five seconds. It's at 2000 degrees. So a lot of force is on this thing and it's 12 spigots on each wall shooting flame. And when you look in the glass, you don't see anything but flame. And so this one will have a half inch or 12 millimeter this will be three quarter inch or about 750 millimeter. This will be an inch of the coating at, uh, at 26 or 25 millimeter. And then this will be an inch and a half and at uh, 37 millimeter. And what we're trying to do is during the test, and these are all already probed right here with, with probes and everything. And, uh, you can see it better over here, but maybe. But in here, we've got these uh, these things welded in, and the probes are already here, and they're coming out out here on this thing. But these things are probed so that these are connected all the way back to the control room during the fire. <clears throat> we can tell what the surface temperature of the metal is during the fire. So if it goes to a half hour, an hour hour and a half, two hours. We know what the temperatures is, and metal on the I-beams, it, it cannot uh, cannot reach over uh, 1,000 degrees F, because then the steel loses integrity. And so that's what you're shooting for. And so, but in this particular test, unlike the ASTM E119 and other fire tests that starts out kind of slow gradually comes up and gets to the temperature and everything and there's no force there's no wind there's none of that kind the ul 1709 five seconds 2000 degrees a lot of force on all four sides with 12 spigots shooting it. and so it's a it's a, a total fire engulfed area and if you look through the glass window they've got you don't see nothing but the flame 
But that's what we're shooting for here is where each of these thicknesses, we're gonna find out if we can get two hours out of a half inch. And then, so maybe the inch and a half will give you six to eight hour fire rating if you needed six or eight hour fire rating. And actually I run into different ones that said they were wrapped with uh, the I-beams and things like this were wrapped with uh, uh, <clears throat> composite. And composite is the strongest steel and everything, but it burns and it can't handle it. So we have to keep the composite below about 150 F for it to maintain its strength. And that's what we can do with this right here with that. So we'll be back in UL within about 30 days to 45 days doing the burn on these with this new formula that we finished up with over here. <clears throat> what the... Now, we just took this out. Wow. <laughs> It's still pretty hot, but it's good. Yep. You can touch it. Well, it's not. It's not uh, two thousand uh, degrees. Uh, uh, uh. Skin, <laughs> I still got skin. <laughs> no, wow. Two. Okay. And this is how much burn came through. Yeah. Wow. To the other side. That's pretty good. That's this really is good. Yeah. Been less than a minute out of the fire. Yeah, that's and crazy. I, and you and can hold it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Wow. Well done. Well done. This was that, this was that, uh, facing 2200 degrees, about, I don't know, 45 seconds, a minute ago, a couple of minutes maybe, and, but it throws it off that fast. Really fast. Okay, now we're going to do a rebar. We want we want verification. Yep. On the results, you can see where we started at 71 F in five minutes, 10 minutes, and this is the difference in temperature, 15 minutes and 20 minutes, and then 30 minutes to 235, 40 minutes, 248, and then about at 40 minutes it started not doing much because from 40 minutes at 248 or 50 minutes at 251 it only went up 14 degrees in the next 100 120 minutes after that so it levels out <clears throat> 